It is indeed a historic day for India's Navy as it welcomes the country's first indigenously built aircraft carrier, the INS Vikrant. This makes India a member of an elite group of the world's naval powers. India has now become the sixth country after the US, Russia, France, the UK and China who are now capable of designing and constructing aircraft carriers. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi presided over the commissioning ceremony which was held at the Cochin shipyard in the southern state of Kerala where he also unveiled the new naval ensign or Nishan. The Prime Minister lauded India's new carrier, calling it a pride of everyday Indian citizen. Are all seated here, so we may not be able to have a close look at Vikram. Adharat Vishwa ke un desho mein shamil ho gaya hai, jo swadeshi taknik se itne vishal aircraft carrier ka nirman karta hai. आज आईएनएस विक्रांत ने देश को एक नए विश्वास से भर दिया है। He spoke about how the warship had its own quality, strength, and a unique developmental journey. He said it was a symbol of indigenous capability, resources, and skills. He made a reference to Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, a formidable ruler from the state of Maharashtra. He praised the monarch's naval fleet and its ability to give sleepless nights to his enemies. He said the INS Vikrant would follow in those historical footsteps. Prime Minister Modi also inspected the warship and inducted it into the Indian Navy. The INS Vikrant is designed to carry 30 aircraft. These will include the MiG-29K fighter jets, the CAMOV-31 and MH-60R multi-role helicopters. It will also be able to carry indigenously manufactured advanced light helicopters and light combat aircraft. It uses an operation mode known as short takeoff but arrested recovery. It has a ski jump for launching the aircraft and three arrester wires for their recovery. The two 62 meters long and 62 meters wide INS Vikran displaces approximately 43,000 tons when fully loaded and has a maximum design speed of 28 knots with the endurance of 7,500 nautical miles. The ship has around 2,200 compartments designed for a crew of around 1,600 this includes specialized cabins to accommodate women officers and sailors. The warship also has a medical complex that contains a physiotherapy clinic, an ICU, laboratories and even an isolation ward. The INS Vikrant is named after India's first aircraft carrier that was used during the 1971 war for Bangladesh's liberation. The construction on the warship began in 2009 and the first stage was completed in 2013. It has since gone undergone basin trials and sea trials as well. It will be commissioned into the Indian Navy today. After this, the ship will conduct aircraft trials, which are expected to be completed by mid-2023. And for more details, our principal diplomatic correspondent, Siddhan Sibyl, gets us the latest. Take a look. In a major development, the Indian Prime Minister earlier today commissioned INS Vikrant, which is... Uh, the largest uh, aircraft carrier which has been indigenously or locally built and this is a major push to Atma Nirbhar Bharat. We know that uh, when it comes to procurement of uh, uh, various elements including steel it has been all done locally. In fact the Indian Navy says that this is the most potent uh, sea based platform for uh, the for India's military but largely the development comes at a time when we know that uh, there is growing strategic competition in the Indian Ocean region with increased Chinese presence and today's development is something that of course um, is a message uh, uh, to Beijing and other countries as well even as we know that there are uh, um, there are situations emerging in Indian Ocean including illegal fishing but if we talk about the commissioning uh, uh, we know that uh, the entire process uh, in fact has taken almost a decade the 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 foundation stone as it said uh, was laid way back in 2009 and uh, the total cost is around 20,000 crore rupees. With video journalist Ajit Sidhan Sibyl for Vion in New Delhi. Vion World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.